Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Surviving Mars without Earth Astronomy. Resources are low. You might recall from last time that these mysterious cubes I can recall the here we go. Um appeared in the middle of our base and we just uh, started the research project with them. Let's see, uh, just get a quick overview of what we're doing here. We have a rocket landed with more people and it's now being emptied from food. And if I recall correctly, if we go into the research here, uh, oh yeah, biometric. Oh yeah, okay. So we are about to finish our biometrics and then we're going to go and begin research the mysteries, but they're going to be fairly short. We're going to be able to complete those real quick. So, um, Let's get time rolling. Now, we did get a notification saying we're low on food. Uh, we're low on electricity, of all things. How come? Ah, here we go. Just as a temporary measure, I just open up all my... Uh, um, my uh, stirring generators. Making us produce lots and lots and lots of night power. And this should give us a chance just to make it through the night. And then I think we're going to try to expand. We, we have very low winds now as well. Um, so I guess we're going to have to try and build more wind turbines. I wonder if it's the same thing. So many of you guys have noticed, like I said, that if I put these up, they like it's moisturizes. They have like an area of effect. I wonder if the same thing with the wind turbines. If they're too close, they might not be as effective. So I'm actually considering if I should build a new wind turbine area over here, where I spread them out a little bit more, maybe even filled up this area up here. But again, range of the drones might be an issue. We've applied the scientific method in every possible way, to no avail. Time to try something else. Okay, so we didn't really get... Hold on, can we store the cubes now? Hey, it's... Oh, hold on. No, it's still moving. The mystery of the black cubes has consumed our colonists completely. The reactions are as numerous as they are varied. Okay, so it seems like I can now construct stuff out of the cubes. Okay, Martian crowdfunding, so we're going to get a little cash infusion here. Um, okay, 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 lots of stuff happening now. We finished that, that research, and I was about to figure out what the next step step should be. You know what, I think I'm going to train nuclear fusion, so that could actually help us with our power problems as well. And what about all these milestones down here? And lower work penalties if they don't have the right specialization guesses, that's nice to have too. Um, let's put that in for now. Okay, so I have... Um, that the graduate faster from universities, then we're going to get the nuclear fusion reactor. We're going to allow people to be reborn with the same traits, and then we're going to go and uh, get some general training so that people don't get that big of a, of a drawback if they're not working in the correct position. Oh yeah, there it is. I knew we had an anomaly somewhere. Let's send him back to, uh, to scan that anomaly, and then I think we're going to continue up here. Okay. So, this one is now back up and running. Why is this not being built? Because we're in need of polymers and metals and concrete. But with our universal storage here, hopefully now we're going to have that being filled up pretty quickly. So we can get that dome built. Um, and then I'll figure out how I'm actually going to connect that, but I'll do that afterwards. Um, yeah, so how are we actually doing on... Uh, we're still trying to get up to 3,000 signs per soul, um, which we're not really that far from yet. And I think, I mean, this one is not really working optimally. Why is it not working optimally? Ah, because we have some people here who are not scientists. We're like a medic here and other people here who may not be working in the, in the most optimal locations. So that's why. Um... But hopefully we have that general training that should improve on that. Uh, other than that, I don't know what else I can do. I mean, I think I have all my science labs. I also have a science lab, two science labs here. Yeah, they are all running with all the shifts are fully booked. So, uh, electronics, we need to do something about our electronics. That's an issue. We have the electronics factory, but we can't without... Resources are low. Yeah, I know. Without rare materials. Um, which we can get from the here. Mysterious cubes continue to appear across the colony. Mission Control advises all personnel to remain calm and stick to protocol. 
What? More of them appeared? Wait. They are all over the place now. Hold on. Ah, uh, do I need to make like a cube storage or something silly like that? Can I do that now? Is that is that a thing? Ah, yes. I can make a cube deposit. Uh, let's just store these. Let's store these so we have access to them down here as well. So I think we're just gonna build a cube storage there. Yeah, look at them. Well, that was quick. Um, but that thing got filled up. What else do we do? Uh, can I build like a bigger storage for them? So I can like keep those stored somehow? Like a massive storage for... No, I can't build big storages for these. So I can only build like a deposit. <laughs> okay, a decorative monument created from the mysterious black cubes. Probably harmless. So I could, like, in here next to the nursery, that's probably the best place to build one of those, right? What could possibly go wrong? And I can build more of them? I can fill out these small... People have something to look at, I don't know. Done. Why well, ain't that pretty? And all my cube storage is pretty much full as well. Uh, okay. You know what, it's not that big of an issue. One dome without life support. Oh yeah, that's right. That dome is done. Um, let's just quickly go and then get that thing connected. See, now I think this science lab might actually be uh, not placed in the best possible location. Um, because I would ideally... Oh, hold on. I should actually be able to, I think. Can I... Can I build the passage from here to there? Yes, I can. And is that the best location for it? I guess it is. Okay, so it seems like one of the um, one of the domes has a problem with its water supply. We need this water chip, and we can either import one from Earth for 250 million. We don't have hydro engineering, so we can't do that. If we don't do anything, it will increase by 400%. This is the water chip is quite complex, and it will take up to six days to manufacture on Mars. Alternatively, we can import the one, so we can pay up. We are really low on money, so I don't want to import one right now. We can try to speed up the process. There's a chance that will fail, and that will mean we'll waste even more water. I am, I mean, I know how quickly people die when we run out of water. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna have to hope that our water reserves can actually hold up. How we're we doing on water at the moment? Should we have a look? Okay, so, so we are. Demanding around 10 and we're producing about 12 water right now. So if that goes up, we have about four domes right now. So that goes up, let's say we... That means we're going to get up to like 17, 18-ish um, in terms of water production. Because not all domes are the same size, don't know which one it is. Um, and that means we're going to be consuming, let's say worst case... We're going to be consuming six per day. This is per day, right? Um, I think so. We still have plenty of water, though. So I, I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna, gonna hope our water reserves are gonna last. Okay, here's what I think I have to do. Um, the problem is that these don't really cover for each other. Uh, I think that's the issue. They need to be able to have one that can kind of cover with if one breaks down, so they can still go and pick up. Uh, so I think I'll have to put in. Maybe I can get one here in the middle that can reach all three of them. Uh, that would be ideal. I don't know, though, if I have... Oh, that's not good. So now we just lost power to... Well... Everything, it seems. So now we have to move this one up here. So this is where I really do need... See, now all of this needs drones, because this one is broken, and this one has no power, and all of these has... Yeah... You can see the problem. Now these are gonna get rebuilt, of course. Uh, hopefully. Okay, so that is now back up and running. So we can drive this thing down here again. Okay. As I was saying, the problem that I have right now is that these are not covering for each other. And I was about to try to figure out what another drone hop. See, I need to have a... I need to have electronics, which I'm out of. So I see no other choice than to bring in electronics from Earth just to keep me running. And then at first I'll make sure all these drone hops have someone so they cover for each other. Um, that would be the first goal. 
Second goal would be to actually go down here and begin to build up a something that we can begin to mine these materials with. We have a food shortage. We just need to make sure we have actually getting food transported. Where is my... Uh, where's my transport truck? Oh god, and to make things even worse... Now, this one here is... Oh god, wonderful. Is out of materials. There's nothing left in it. Now, we do have a pretty decent storage of metal, so it's not a big issue yet. But the whole point of this dome area over here was to have something that would... Kind of supply me with um, um, with metals. I do have another one here that has a thousand in it, so I'm probably going to build that. I have another one there also with a lot, and I have this one here. So I think I'm actually going to go and build a dome in between these two here, um, and then maybe you know what? Could I? Uh, I should have to. I shouldn't have built that one there. It. You know what, I'm just going to leave that dome there for now. I'm going to build a new dome here and I'm going to build a dome down here to try to kind of like get mining teams on these points here. Um, and then I'm probably going to consider trying to demolish this area over here because it's... I don't know really, I don't really need it. I have a few factories of course, which is nice, so maybe I'll keep it, I don't know. I think guess I'll keep it. Um, but I'll definitely try to build some domes down here, get those connected up. Good. I can build a universal storage there. Um, and I do, as you can see, have a rocket incoming. So, okay, order of business now. <sighs> okay. Rocket comes in. Rocket has electronics on board. I do have rare metals. Why are you complaining you don't have rare metals? Oh, they are stored there. What on earth are they doing down here? Hold on, okay. My food truck here, let's get this thing uh, done first. Well, I ask that to go down there and unload the food. That's just gonna make sure that this area doesn't run out of food immediately. Then we're gonna go and get all those rare metals that are out there. Um, because we could actually bring those back, store them, and then use them in this here to build uh, electronics. But, of course, that's not a permanent solution. Um... So I think first order of business is to go down, pick that up, build a few electronics, use the electronics we get on the rocket to get another drone hub in this area, then get a drone hub down in this area here as well. And then finally also get a, a third drone hub down here, begin to expand this with domes so we can get access to the materials, uh, the, uh, the uh, rare materials here and the metals here and here. Um, all while still building more science labs and having more people move in and probably maybe even build a, a second landing pad to try and accommodate the new area down here um build something in this area maybe uh i'll figure that out okay so that one there you are going to go and pick that up okay so i could build one drone hop like here, that should give me at least enough to cover. How about if I actually, could I put it like right here next to the rock? Nah, okay, let's give us a little bit more coverage here. So I'm gonna Research put one. Complete. Milestone achieved. Nice, build one there. Oh, more fireworks, nice. But of course these do not have access to the materials they need. And they do not have access to the materials because there's no universal storage. I guess I okay. Hold on. I'll also build another drone hub while we're at it. This one is gonna be up here. Um, I need to be in range of that one. So ideally, I want to build it like here. And if I then move this one up here, so this one's in range of that universal storage there. Will it then be able to build this? It seems so. Another thing I also want to do um, is to begin to solve our ever-growing power problems. But luckily now, we should have access to a fusion reactor. But it costs quite a few electronics. And I don't... First of all, I don't have it. Um, it needs workers on the sh shift. So I'll we'll probably have to build that close to this dome so we can get people moving in there. Um, but that should pretty much 
mean we're good for power for quite a while. This is a big one. It's fairly small, actually. Um, so what problem is, I can't really build that before I got this whole chain up and running and... and Come on, there we go. I got the these mines going so we can begin to actually extract this. I mean, I get, no, I can't extract that water yet. But hopefully I will be able to do deep water extractors soon. Um, and then there's the ever-growing problem with these cubes that I still have no idea what I need to do about because they are just growing in numbers. And I guess all I can really do with them is build, like, these small ones. Or I can build even bigger, like, structures that looks pretty i guess we could maybe build one in here just for fun our drone hub here is now ready so that means we should be able to go into to build another infrastructure and then begin to actually draw a cable where's the cables is that not here it's under elect electricity maybe it was okay so i guess we can piggyback off that cable running here and then just have that come down like there oh and i just realized anomaly that... found. oh an anomaly just spawned in the middle of our base that's nice let's uh go and scan that in the... immediately then we actually have our 10 martian born uh specialists as well so we actually completed all of them which means that as a reward for that we should have gotten a yeah we got a mega dome prefab look at that thing Problem is, it can't, it's, I mean, it doesn't have enough of an area of influence to. Uh, um, it doesn't have a big enough area of influence to actually cover both this one and this one, so I'm probably going to keep this for now. Um, another problem that I realized is I built these launch pads so far away from um, from these domes that that I'm not going to get any colonists into them, so I don't really know what to do with this right now. Um, I don't know if I can force colonists analyzed. to go there. We got a bit of science for analyzing that, which is nice. Um, so I don't know if we should build this. Do we have to build a small dome just to get people into the rocket, or do I just like remove this or cancel the expedition? And I guess I could cancel the expedition. Um, that means I could send this thing back to. Uh, Get the thing refueled and send it back to Earth. And then build a new landing pad down here. Uh, which I'm probably going to do as well. But I think I'm going to call it for uh, for this time. We didn't manage to expand the base that much. We managed to get some of the infrastructure ready down to uh, to this area. To get more production running. Um, but we still have no idea what we're going to do with all these cubes. Um, which is rather curious. Um, most of them have actually stopped. Oh, they are still moving. Just very slowly now. Incoming. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what to use those for. Um, other than just storing them. There must be some purpose to them. But that mystery is hopefully something we will discover and solve in a future episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like down below. And subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.